Okay, so let's try this one. Let's try uh, writing a spontaneous redox reaction um, using these two reaction equations, half reaction equations, with their electron or uh, self attention. Okay, so if we look here, both of these are written in the normal form with the electrons being on the left hand side of the reaction. Okay? So hopefully you can see when we combine these two reactions, of course, we're going to need to cancel out those electrons, so one of them has to be flipped around, okay? So let's go ahead and do that to start out with. So I'm just going to flip the bottom one around. So we have M2 gas plus 5 H plus aqueous plus So remember, don't change the sign of your potential when you flip it around. So I'm going to erase this middle equation. And we're just going to work with these two equations here. So we have to do the same thing like we have been doing, balancing these equations with um, respect to the number of electrons that they've got. Okay? So this one up here has three electrons. This one has four, so we have to look for a common factor, right? So we're going to multiply this one times three and this one times four, okay? Okay, so when we do that, we should get So hopefully you see we've got 12 electrons there, 12 electrons there. I'm going to erase this one. Like so now we go about canceling. 12 electrons there, 12 electrons there, 15 protons there, 16 protons there. Cancel those out. So we have one proton left there. Um, I don't think there's anything else, right? Okay, so let's write the overall reaction. So I'll write it in the middle. So 4, and now 3, minus aqueous plus a proton. Liquid plus three 
These ones are kind of, you can turn things around, multiply them together. Just remember, don't mess with the actual potential of the 